Gavin. How do you do? Gavin. ¿Cuál es tu problema? Para de darte el paso de una santa vez. Hello, mister. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and, uh... Now I'm all alone. Good luck. How was that? That's, uh... That's too bad. a real democracy stop Hello disqualifying there. half the population we are women not monsters we deserve the right to vote as much as you not the best i'm afraid oh vous m'envoyez la vraie you my friend what do you think about women's suffrage women voting sure why not oh Thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Sir, can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, ma'am. Hello. Monsieur. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Oh. Some real beautiful country around this area. Oh, hey there. Monsieur? I'll only Won't shut up once I can vote. And their families? Like everything Think of what they sacrificed for everything. Hi there, mister. Hello. I have to say, life is pretty good. For the blind. Wish whiskey grew on trees. Is is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Mm. Oh, whoa! Hey, Hodge. Uh, is someone there? I'm just a, a poor. You know, you seem real perceptive for a blind man. Oh, who said that? Why don't you put that gun away, huh? You really blind? If you lie to me again, I'll shoot you dead. Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. Well, I've killed I'll men be for on less, you know. Whoa, hey, it's just a few
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. <laughs> oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I'm Hello? told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I'll now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. You know what? You don't me. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. Really? From Scotland. <sighs> okay. Really Here, have one for yourself. Well, right, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. <laughs> Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti-eating, long streak of piss, Big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I get. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Officer. Good morning. Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Awesome, Bob Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Get going! He's coming after us! You give that back! Run!
Opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to Saint Denis, Mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. <laughs> 